G'day there, you're watching the Aussie Boom Guru. Today we're going to be doing a really quick demonstration because I've been getting a lot of questions about how you can download my custom Dynamo package called Crumple. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how you can download, install and access those nodes. Um, so let's get started, so I'm just going to switch over to my screen. Okay, so I'm on my GitHub right here, so it's just github.com slash Guru. Now I keep a lot of things on this GitHub, I keep all my presentations in PDF format, all my Dynamo scripts, um, my Revit files that I use when relevant and my Grasshopper scripts. What I'm looking at today is Crumple. So we call this a repository in, um, in GitHub. Um, you can see pretty much I've been updating relatively frequently on my GitHub. I try to keep these pretty up to date. Um, I'm just going to click on Crumple. And I'm, I'm not logged in at the moment. I'm not signed up to GitHub. So you'll be able to see the same thing. So essentially, you, you get three things in here. You get the bin file, the DYF file with all the functions in Dynamo, and the package.json file. Now, a mistake that a lot of people make is they click on DYF to go and get my functions then they might go and click on one of these. And what GitHub will do is actually show you the source code of the node. Now we don't want that. So we actually want to go back two levels to the master branch, and we're just going to click on this clone button. Now you can open this in GitHub desktop if you do have it. I do recommend that you use GitHub desktop. It's much more efficient. But in this case, I'm just going to download, in this case, as a zip. And it should just download the zip file. And I can just open up Crumple Master. Now if we just take these three things and just copy them. I'm using WinRAR here, um, the good old evaluation copy, <laughs> which uh, we know isn't really an evaluation copy. Um, that's my download. <clears throat> so if I go to Dynamo Revit, so I'm under my user profile, app data, roaming, Dynamo, Dynamo Revit. In my case, I'm using Revit 2020, so this is Dynamo 2.3. If you're in Revit 2021, it's probably 2.5, maybe 2.7. And before that, it'll be somewhere in the 2.0 directory. I'm going to go into 2.3 and there'll be a subfolder called packages. So if we just open this up and if we just create a new folder and we call it crumple and then we just paste the contents into that folder, this should be enough in order to run. Um, now, usually packages do have an extra folder called extras, but I don't believe that you need it in order to run the, uh, the package. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to go into Revit. I'm just going to make a, I'm just going to open up the sample project. And essentially at this point, we should have the package when we boot up Dynamo, but I'll just check anyway, just to show you where it, where it is. So we'll just open up Dynamo. And I'm in Revit 2020, just a reminder. So if I go new, and there we go, you can see now I have the, I have the crumple package installed and I should have all the nodes available um, in little sub lists there. So I can just test one to make sure it's working. To see if the about the about the package node is working, and we'll just put a watch node on there. And there you go. You can see that this this node is now functioning. You should have access to all the other um, really cool nodes that I've built for this package. Um, the reason I don't put it put it on the package manager is I don't really have enough time to maintain it for different builds of Revit. So usually this package will only work in Revit 2020 onwards. Um, whereas some people build their packages to be flexible enough to handle lower versions. Um, so if I put it on the package manager, sometimes it wouldn't work for those versions. So I just try to be a bit safer and just put it on my GitHub for those that understand how it works. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, so um, hopefully that helps some people uh, figure out how they can download and access the package. And I'll use this video if someone ever gives me a request about how. Um, so yeah, I look forward to releasing more videos uh, next week and we'll see you then. Thanks. Take care. Bye.